yet another filament lamp from China. Um, another of the small candle lamp ones. Now the last one I got, which is somewhere over here. One moment while I just dig that out. Here it is. The last one I had of this type had, oh look at the body's quite notably shorter to allow some compensation of the plastic base, but this one had the metal base, the small Edison screw, this tiny little circuit board which had basically a rectifier capacitor and very little else in it, two resistors. Uh, this one, this one flickered horribly. This one, um, I'll screw it in, doesn't flicker. Doesn't flicker and comes up in the power meter at 3.8 watts. So that's a nice little thing. It's, that's really bright to look at. That's just a wee bit too glaring to look at. So um, let's take it a bit. So I'll chuck that lamp holder down. This is a box that comes in, a fairly standard box. It's obviously used with a number of little black dots in it to show what sort of lamp it is. It says it's a 3 watt lamp. Mm, no, I'd say it's close to 4 watt. So the LED filaments inside are um, wired as, they're linked across as pairs at the top and then there are four wires going down inside. I'm not sure if this is going to come out or not. Do I want it to break? It seems to be in silicon. Right, okay. Turns out the base unclips, showing a tiny little circuit board inside with a fusible resistor in series and a wire, a little smoothing capacitor and a circuit board with a choke in it. That's an interesting variation. Let's see if I can uh, get this to separate is being held on by sort of silicony stuff. Let's hope the glass doesn't break in my hand. I can feel it kind of breaking, but I think I'm going to have to cut these wires. Yep, I'm going to have to cut these wires to free that, unless I can actually... Uh, the little resistor is trapped between the base, so I might just uh, cut that this side. And the other one is that little assembly technique that they use for by I think they put a stud and they press the stud into the end. Let's see if I can impale myself with a knife. Not for the first time. So a little stud pops out and that releases the wire. Okay. Now is this going to come out from Yeah, the silicon is giving, probably from the plastic, I would guess. Oh yes. Oh, it's just clear silicon. Circuit board doesn't want to go through. Okay. What we got? The wires are being brought down in pairs, so the filaments are just as in two series pairs. The circuit board has nothing on one side and it's got the capacitor on the other. Um, that's quite hard. Uh, I can see a little heat sinky type sort of um, track on the other side, leading to what looks like a small chip. This is quite densely packed, as you could probably guess. The choke on one side and the little chip on the other. A little six-pin chip. I'm guessing it's just going to be a single diode. Possibly that component there is just the single diode charging up the capacitor. It looks like it. I don't see a full bridge. And then the support components are probably round for this little chip which will just be a buck regulator. Um, I don't want to start pulling this too much apart, although deep down I do want to know what that chip is, but I think to find out what the chip is I'm going to have to desolder the capacitor, 
which, yeah, I'm going to have to sort of the capacitor, so I shall leave a note uh, once I've done that, if I can actually read a number on the chip. Where's my phone? I'll just put it into microscope mode and uh, have a look at that. But this is the first one I've seen with the little um, buck regulator inside it. So, um... Can I read that number on that chip? Oh, it's so tucked in there. It's so really tucked in. I don't think I'm going to see that because it really is tucked in under the capacitor. I'm going to have to desolder the capacitor. Okay, well, desolder the capacitor it is then. And I shall uh, leave a note in either the comments or and the comments. Uh, and I'll leave a wee note on the video as well, but yeah, that's quite a... It's an interesting construction. Um, it's a nice simple construction. The circuit board's very simple, but disappointed they're using a single diode, which uh, that's a wee bit tacky, but having said that, they're trying to make it as small as possible. And in a sense, you know, they could have put the circuit board... They could have tucked the capacitor down, and just extend it. Well, they can't really extend the metal up too much because it's effectively sort of connected to the mains. But um, they could actually, yeah, they could have stuck that all into just the base down here. I think they could have got that to fit. That would have just been a wee bit trickier. Oh, and they have got a hole through the. They've got a hole through the bottom of the circuit board for the um, the glass pip. So yeah, the whole lot could, technically speaking, have just been stuffed into there if they'd been able to actually properly adhere the lamp onto the metal here, but I suppose the plastic approach just makes it kind of easier and gives them more room. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting lamp. Yeah, interesting indeed.